Please all sit. Welcome to the Edinburgh Napier University graduations 2023. It's great to see you all here. Four centuries ago, John Napier of Merkiston, from whom this university proudly takes its name, invented logarithms. One of the greatest contributions to the advancement of science and knowledge. It was a great step which underpinned Kepler's work on the orbit of the planets and Newton's theory of gravity. Today, you, Edinburgh Napier's newest graduates, follow in his footsteps. History records the support and encouragement to work and study that John Napier received through his faith, his family, his friends, and those who read his amazing works. We share today's joy with those who have helped us to reach this next step, so I invite you to begin today's ceremony with a moment of reflection. And give thanks for the support we've received and the strength we've been given by others. I now declare our graduation ceremony open and invite the president of ENSA, Gio Achill, to give his address. Thank you, Gio. Thank you. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, members of the court, academic board, guests and graduates, good morning and greetings to you all. I'm indeed honored and delighted to deliver the ENSA word of thanks on behalf of all of you. I would like to begin by saying it is finished. This journey has come to an end. No more coursework, no more assignments, no more sleepless nights in the JKCC or the library. You've all made it here. Give yourself a big round of applause. In this moment of victory and celebration, I would like to invite you all to go through a quick moment of reflection. Way before the sun rises, our campuses are all perfected to spick and span to a level even a dangerous virus cannot survive in this era. Thanks to all our facility staff. A big thanks to our 24 bar 7 security staff. They've kept us completely secure and sane. There's one team which has enjoy right on their chest, and they have served us throughout our time in the university. A big thanks to our canteen staff, IT support. Without your support, we wouldn't have turned one report in. A huge round of applause for all the support provided by Edinburgh Napier University. <laughs> Through the journey of turmoil, hardship, sleepless nights, there were people by our side. Parents, well-wishers, advisors from ENSA, counselors, and most importantly, friends. This would have not been possible without your support. And now comes the interesting bit. Thanks to all our super creative professors who did not leave a chance to get creative to their extents, where we had to go make friends and go out to de-stress and refresh. You really need a big round of applause, all our professors. We had a group of students visiting us from one of our twinning universities, and in the midst of the conversation, they said, we breathe the air of freedom in the city. Aren't we all blessed to have this every day? The world needs kind hearts and creative minds like you to make it a fun place to live in in the era of artificial intelligence. Spread the joy of living with this exuberance that you have today. To conclude, Yadumure Yavurum Kelir said a Tamil poet Kanyan Punkantanar 3,000 years ago in Tamil classic Purananuru, which means, I am a citizen of the world and every global citizen is my own kith and kin. Graduates, we are in the midst of a global mental health crisis in the modern era of technology. Humankind needs your kindness. Let us go out in this world with righteousness in our hearts and beauty in our character and let the world say, it must be Napier. Celebrate it another day in this beautiful city of Edinburgh with your friends and family. Cheers to life, and I am finished. Thank you. Chancellor, I am pleased to present students from the Business School for the following awards. For the award of Doctor of Business Administration, 
for a programme of work entitled Harnessing the Silver Tsunami, an investigation into the benefits and challenges of senior entrepreneurship in Singapore. Herbert Chi. For the award of Master of Business Administration, Kunle Sigun Adebo Boye. Ola Bode Adedeor Adebusuyi. Abene Chantel Agard. Winner of the University Medal, Palashe Ajay Ahuje. Craig Atchinson. Nifusat Bashir. Bin Ila Balan Kamalamkaya. Samor Fukhtar Mukhtar Kulmal. <laughs> Ji Chu Fung. <laughs> Himanshu. <laughs> Osita Chidibere Igopoke. Gamal Yusuf Kadir Hussain. <laughs> Wei Jang. <laughs> Kalyani Bedwante Jugo. <laughs> Kashyap Shantilal Kaku. <laughs> Sandish Krishna Kilaru. Julian Lefkis, Christian Joel T. Lim, Wendy Ann Arenas Mendoza, Dorothy Christine Nambasa, Nisha Mary Babu. Asadola Omari, Ormor Wumi Aborsede Anasanyan, Matthew Darren Orr, Peter Sai Hupun. Rihanna Maria Ricciuto. Franz Christian Schubert. Winner of the Progeny Prize, Rohit Singh. Davison Ase UK Owum Ose. For the award of Master of Business Administration Entrepreneurship, Maria Teresa Fraser. Jacqueline Worms. For the award of Master of Business Administration Finance, Cleopatra Gittens. Thomas Duncan Hastings. Ahilaya Kumar, Rhea Thorne. For the award of Master of Business Administration Health Management, Fuluke Arkin Remy.
David Hadong Bing, Peggy Spong. For the award of Master of Business Administration, Hospitality and Tourism Management, Dominique Rashad Hanna. Subash Sethi. For the award of Master of Business Administration, Human Resource Management, Vanessa Ferguson. Felicia Francis Miller. Shakira Amtul Hak Jawahir Sheldine Sukaya. Sheldine Sukai. For the award of Master of Business Administration, Leadership and Innovation, Sasha Bain. Jewel Peter Cecilia. Braddock Clear. Timo Schoenwolf. Mark Watson. Winner of the University Medal, Jonathan Gavin White. For the award of Master of Business Administration Leadership Practice, Orla Ede Sainab Aribola. RJ Bimpe Olufumi Laryor RJ Jolu. Olua Bumi Dorcas RJ Soji. Abhijit Anil. Richard Thomas Eddie Bima. Jithin Jose. Abhinav Raj Khanda. Ravi Teja Manchola. Oyiwale Solomon Olaya Ede. Inumidon Aryormide Bidmeji Popo Orla. Tabshira Tarakala. Valentine Chinanso Ochebu. For the award of Master of Business Administration, Logistics and Supply Chain Management, Jonathan Morgan. <laughs> Melusi Charles Sindan. For the award of Master of Business Administration, Marketing, Kimberly Antoinette Boleg. For the award of Master of Business Administration, Project Management, Oyin Darmorle Iwani Wora Arbordudon Ayale Se. For the award of Master of Business Administration, Strategic Project Management, Aribola Orlusholar Aribori Shade. <laughs> Praise Damilola Ardewalu Ray. <laughs> Olufemi Isaiah Adebayo. Olaquemi Dorcas Adeelo. (laughs) 
Ihaz Ahmed. Oluwatobiloba Timothy Ajaiji. Musedik Ola Warlawe Arkande. Ardebolu Orlanri Waju Arkinlarde. Oluwa Fermi Aryor Jailar Arkin Yiye. Mohammed Akas. Or Morlade Margaret RBB Sailar. Mariam Armormide Aryinlar. Fumi Lolar Ololarde Coker. Sanmi Ardewale Dada. Dixon Oluwasheun Eben Uwe. Justine Oshio Arhamen. <laughs> Kininde Salamat Elebite. <laughs> RJ Jumorker, are your lady Omogine. <laughs> Osi Menkan A. E. Orlar. Arpo Mevire, Julie Isemuru. Orge Nia Ovo, Jerry Arcibone. Vivian Alexander Ertim. Olu Fermi, Olar Depor, Farkar Yorde. Olu Dare, David Farnisi. Tashoma Artete Francis. Rarzak Ibrahim. Mariam Olar BC Ibetar. Ormo Lolar Taru Fikat Omor Yin Yang Sorle Ibain. Bryce Osaretin Ibin Niweke. Benson Vincent Igiwe. Inena Ijorma Ijire. Lawrence Orsarki Ernuwa Iro Rere. Kelly E. Yarmar. Oluwabumis Sakirat Karinde. Karthik Malai Vasan. Armijat Nene Mohammed. Emmanuel Chukuweke Mordi. Chikar Tessi in Dubisi.
Habibat Alice Odon Barkour. Ade Bimorlar Harnata Ogun Barjor. Edward O.K.K. Valentin Chuke E. Merkar Okon Kuor. Kalu Frank Okoru. Ardeban K. Olubi Mysorlar Olar Barki. Olarmi Day, Odaryat, Orlar Di Pupu. Daniel Oyai Kai Kunki Olopor. Samson Oluwakaryor Day, Oluwu. Oluwatobi Karin Day, Olubarjor. Asela Cynthia Ormor Jarde. Sayaya Jeff or Parmor Ye. Ona Ona Eva John Oshoma. Ola Tonde Peter Otoki. Isaac Oluwafemi Owoye. Winner of the University Medal, Siddhartha Pandey. Anton Rohit Peter. Marlon Gerald Peterson. Anwar Saeed. <laughs> Fati Ola Lurkan Sotunde. <laughs> Gopika Theke Vetil. <laughs> Yawande Orjorke Tulu RJJ. Arun Vasantha Kumaran. For the award of postgraduate diploma, Business Administration, Avinash Gari Pedali. Lakshmi Priya Manjoy. For the award of postgraduate certificate, Business Administration, Hosai Nagshaband. For the award of Master of Science Business Management, Temi Topi Benjar Ardijibe. Najibola Abid. Arde Ronke Olari De Arde Tutu. <laughs> Eunice Ahmed. <laughs> Oluwatobi or Payemi Arli. <laughs> Vivian Chioma Armad. <laughs> Amandeep Kaur. Sheriff John Arnor Gundarde. <laughs> Kansa Ayub. <laughs> Ambili Das. <laughs> Farouk Hamid. <laughs> Babatunde Michael Ibi Conley. Ahmad Iftikar. 
Yoti. Pawn Preet Kaur. Dennis Erikife Okorare. Amir Nawaz. Cynthia Wamboy Njorgu. Blessing Linda Orbarciude. Mishark Ordinaranachuku Oko. Are your barmi Abigail or Lele Yaye? Akil Radhan Rishan. Suda Deepthi Amanasi. Bertram Samuel Roker. Cameron Shoaib. Winner of the University Medal, Amrita Sunni. Mohammed Tayyab. Emmanuel Oluwafemi Towalawi. McNeil Ozuem Ubu. For the award of Postgraduate Diploma Business Management, Suradujen Arbordun Garniu. Hope Orbi Aguile Ewunse. <laughs> Nadim Ulla. For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business Management, Jade Allen. Christian Doris Bennett Cowling. <laughs> Lewis Anderson. Adam Richard Dewar. Jack. Kinnanmont, Cameron Stephen Larry, Oliver Michael Levy, Ewan Martin, Sarah Shizad Sarwar. Gregory Peter Weymouth. For the award of Bachelor of Arts Business Management, Lauren Bowie. Samantha Hill. Maria De La O Sanchez Gonzalez. For the award of Master of Science Business Management Entrepreneurship, or Payami Christina Ardewumi, Lucia Bubala Manga Chibande, Holly Ann Hunter. Winner of the University Medal, Alexander Paul Wells. Jingwei Zhang. For the award of Postgraduate Diploma Business Management Entrepreneurship, 
Ozi Omar Obi Gele Izu Lilike. For the award of Master of Science Business Management Finance, Meryl Olivia V. Elzen. For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business Management Graduate Apprenticeship, Jessica Ophelia Bethany Coomer. Andrea Cooper. Winner of the University Medal, Michael Costello. Chris Anthony Cullen. Louise Fair. Holly Henderson. Stephen Kay. Stuart Knight. Tracy McKay. Siobhan Teresa Ryan McCann. Reese Stewart. Helena Vargova. For the award of Bachelor of Arts Business Management Graduate Apprenticeship, Dylan Noon. For the award of Master of Science Business Management Logistics and Supply Chain, Luxton Kupfawam Handu. <laughs> Natalia Julia Zelwash. For the award of Postgraduate Diploma Business Management Logistics and Supply Chain, Nadine Law. Ruben Emobosa Omukoru. For the award of Master of Science Business Management Project Management, Saski Morgan. Randir Ramkisun. For the award of Master of Science Business Management Tourism and Hospitality, Catherine Bowie. <laughs> Taya Lobjanages. <laughs> For the award of Postgraduate Certificate Business and Management Research Methods, Christopher Aaron Barnes. <laughs> Mahendra Salvadore. For the award of Bachelor of Arts Business Management with Finance, Brandisha Dean. Shirelle Forbes. Wayne Alexander Herrera. For the award of Bachelor of Arts Business Management with Hospitality, Lucy Kolinkova. <laughs> Yari Passanato. <laughs> Magdalena Siahan. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business Management with Human Resource Management, Edvugigas del Valle Sandoval Iturbe. <laughs> Katerina Tomczyk. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts Business Management with Human Resource Management, Rudel Goddard. <laughs> Katerina Charlotte Lowe. Prenice Alicia Wiseman. <laughs> Wiseman. 
for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business Management with Marketing, James Alexander Hamilton. Rona McDougall. Lachlan Edward McMaster. For the award of Bachelor of Arts Business Management with Marketing, Vedrana Yivanovich. For the award of Bachelor of Arts Human Resource Management with Organizational Psychology, Fu Chi Sin. For the award of Master of Science International Business Management, Naeem Abbas. <laughs> Mohammed Sirajuheen Abdul Jabbar. <laughs> Shakeru Tonde Arde Kunle. Funke Comfort Arde Niji Modupe Elizabeth Arde Sobar Carfariat Arbiordon Owuse Arcanby Mubarak Arforlarbi Arcande Joshua Bengar Arlarbi. <laughs> Karthik Aladi. <laughs> Arde Wumi Ramas Arnima Sharon. <laughs> Kamar Atta. <laughs> Sharon Babu. Hari Krishna Balukumar. <laughs> Amitha Benny. <laughs> Obi Odun Oluwabusiwi Ajay Babe Lola. <laughs> Jerin Benny. Yash Jusubin Ramashabi Bhuva. Praveen Chaluri. Kindness Obi Omachu Kuwu Daniel. Rhea Davis. Olar Yinke Henry Elusakin. <laughs> Tami Torper Aryor Mikun Iyi Taryor. <laughs> Chinanso Emanuela Azez. <laughs> Joy Oluwasheon Farmi Lorni. Rahel Fichter. Sneha Francis. Arborlade Nurudin Garniu. John Paul Gladson Chenging Imatom. Olar Deji Julius Hassan. 
nor Sarkare Ephraim Edihan. Arminar Abele Idris. Sonia Imran. Sai Prashad Jaligam. Lukman Babatunde Jimo. Sneha Jose. Niffy Joseph. Rahul Joy. Moshab Kani Poyil. Ramandeep Kaur. Imran Khan. Cameron Khan. Rizwan Khan. Komal. Pankaj Kumar. Aswani Komaran. Amala Mary Kopak Katil Shajij. Anu Kurichan. Arslan Marjid. Abinjit Marikal Lalu. Maria Blessy. Courage Osetela Marsade. Mehwish Mehwish. By me Sorla Shir Rifat Mermud. Vincent Kwame Ebenezer Murphy. Navit Kaur. Ajiro Iparki Orba Punoe. Orlarjide Bengar Oke Taryor. Catherine Ormornego Oko. Muwiwa Joseph Orlarborde. Stephen Oluwabo Temi. Bonmi Karfariat Olori. Arya Omana Ordarya Yin. Bolar Temilola Omor Toshur. War Korchar Onu Orha Ornu Orha. Inenan Tokundor Owubuchu I am. Rubina Raim Hai Padan Ia. Amin Mohammed Palopat Naushet. Atul Krishna Pariel Manov. Pardeep Kaur. Pavan Kumar Patty Bandla. <laughs> Helen Oriu Nebo Paul. 
Prapurna Penimetsa. Ajilan Panandi. Anouf Ali Potad Ayil. Prabsin Ranjit Singh. Nina Prakash. Abhinesh Ragupati. Sahil. Aditi Sajiv. Sakin Soji. Fidel or Norse Samuel. Haifa Shah. Santi Sivaji. Oluwa Karyorde Olar Mardipopo So M. Emo. Rifat Sultana. Siam Krishna Veliyat Santakumar. Vamsi Sai Velugula. Subaleke Van Kat Essen. Bharat Chandra Vujini. Jibin Wilson. Wakas Zaka Ulla. For the award of postgraduate diploma, International Business Management, Borlar Florence Arni K. R. De Paybat. Daniel Chibundo Madaku. Titi Lopar Arniola Ogini. For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours International Business Management, Angus Kinnenberg. For the award of Bachelor of Arts Marketing Management, Richard Stephen Oliver. For the award of Master of Science Business Management, Bolanle Matilda Shodipo. And for other awards of the university, Sneha Jose. It is with sympathy and respect that we recognize the academic achievements of Adeola Mary Alla from the Business School, who sadly passed away since completing her studies. Adeola achieved the award of Master of Business Administration Strategic Project Management. We will always consider Adeola to be a part of the Edinburgh Napier family of graduates. Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of students from the Business School. Right, well, you have not graduated yet. We now have the important legal bit called the Act of Conferment. Would all the graduands who can please stand? All those that can. By the powers vested in me 
by the University Court and the Academic Board of Edinburgh Napier University, I confer the awards for which you have been presented today. For those eligible for an award but unable to attend today's ceremony, I am pleased to confer their awards in absentia. Many congratulations to all of you. You are now all graduates. Now, 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 please be seated. Please be seated for your principal, Andrea Nolan. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm delighted to add my warm welcome to that of Will, our Chancellor, and Geo, your Student Association President. Let me begin by offering you my warm congratulations on your achievement. It's a privilege and a pleasure to share this celebration with all of you, your families and your friends. For graduations are the highlight of our academic year. And I have experienced over 100 Edinburgh Napier University graduations. But I still feel the same thrill and excitement today as I did on the first celebration. Because each ceremony is unique with a new group of graduates, marking as it does a milestone, not just in your lives, but in the story of our university. Looking back on your time with us, I know that for many of you, the adjustments we made to navigate the impact of the COVID pandemic safely impacted your learning and experience here in Scotland. And while normality has largely been restored, it would be remiss of me not to acknowledge the challenges you faced and you overcame. And so I want to express my admiration for the determination, resilience, and adaptability that you demonstrated to complete your study. And I too want to thank the staff who have worked tirelessly to guide and support you this is truly a day of celebration for all of us. The pride we feel runs deep. It extends beyond today because it encompasses our belief in your potential and the achievements and adventures that lie ahead of you. Now I recognize you are graduating into a turbulent global environment. Economic challenges, geopolitical instability, an unprecedented pace of technological advances and the challenges of delivering net zero commitments to protect our planet for future generations. But history tells us that uncertainty will also spur innovation and adaptation that can lead to new knowledge and insights, advances and imaginative solutions. And I am confident that as you make your own personal discoveries and chart your own unique pathways, you are well equipped to inform, influence, and contribute in ways that will help navigate the challenges, enrich the lives of others, and make our society more prosperous, fairer, healthier, and sustainable. And I say that with conviction because I have witnessed your talent and commitment in the awards we are celebrating today. I acknowledge with admiration the many of you who completed your degree while balancing significant caring responsibilities, supporting children or family members, and those who are living far away from home and the support of their families and friends. I admire those amongst you who also acted as buddies supporting new students joining the university, those who contributed to our student clubs and societies, and those who acted as program representatives. And I am in awe of those who studied online in countries far away, very often balancing caring and working responsibilities. 
Our university thrives on the many everyday, often unseen contributions of all of our students to building a supportive, inclusive and vibrant community. And in the years ahead, each of you here today will have a crucial role to play in sustainable economic recovery and development and business innovation, utilizing your skills and expertise con to contribute to the development of business management services that underpin so many different sectors and industry, while navigating the digital revolution with all of its opportunities, but also complexities. And as a university, we will continue to play our part in making a difference, maintaining an unwavering commitment to learning in an environment where ideas thrive and new knowledge and advances are made. And you need look no further than the staff who have guided and supported you. I think of our Impact Investment Symposium, established in the business school to create solutions for Scottish communities. It is championing collaborations to increase investment in businesses which seek to make a positive social or environment impact. I think of staff in our Centre for Military Research, Education and Public Engagement who are working to understand more fully the impact of transition out of the armed forces on the mental health, well-being and job opportunities for military personnel and their families. And I think of staff providing an evidence base to inform Scottish law and policy in the area of criminal and civil proceedings involving domestic abuse. And I think of the staff working on the development of digital technology that will make our cities fit for the future. And work exploring differing nationalities' perspectives on leisure time and work-life balance. And this summer, our business school earned business accreditation from AACSB International, the longest serving global accrediting body for business schools an accolade which is held by only 6% of business schools worldwide. These examples are just tasters of the many ways the business school is generating and applying new knowledge that is enriching all our lives. And be in no doubt that we have been influenced by you as members of our university. The university is much more than a set of buildings, campuses, facilities. It is an ever-changing, ever-growing community. And as members, each of you has shaped our development. And for the many amongst you have come from countries far beyond Scotland, the diversity of perspectives and experiences that you have brought have enriched us. I know I speak for all the staff when I say we are very, very proud to have you as our graduates. I hope that the time you spent with us has ignited curiosity, kindled dreams and ideas, and created friendships that will last a lifetime. Please stay connected with us. Celebrate and take pride in our achievements as we will in yours. For you, as others who've gone before you, belong to the unfolding story of Edinburgh Napier University, both as part of our history and through all that you will do as part of our future. I was back in the university from which I graduated in Ireland just last week. And I walked past the hall where I graduated as a veterinary surgeon many years ago and I paused for a minute and thinking of these graduations, tried to remember what was said, who spoke, and the specifics of the day. And I couldn't remember very much. But what I did remember was how I felt. The joy, the satisfaction, the relief, and also a tinge of sadness at moving on to a new phase of my life. 
And I reflected also on the gratitude, with gratitude, on the opportunities that my degree opened up for me. It set me on a path that has wound through a varied and rewarding career with very many stopping points along the way, and ultimately brought me here to lead this university community, which I am passionate about. So, I hope that today you will create special memories with people you care about, and that in years to come, you too, from time to time, will pause and reflect on this day with great joy and satisfaction. Graduates of 2023, my warm congratulations. I wish you fulfillment and every success in your future careers. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Nolan, for that very personal and heartwarming speech. We're on the home stretch now. And as Chancellor standing here today, I want to assure you that the life you have ahead of you is really exciting. I can feel the buzz in the hall today. And it's a buzz I remember very well from my own graduation back in 1981. And it reminds me why I became Chancellor of Edinburgh and AP University. I really love learning. And you should never stop learning when you leave this hall because you never know where life is going to take you. There is an old adage that knowledge is power and therefore education is the fuel of that power. One of my responsibilities as Chancellor, I believe, is to bring the outside world into the university and into graduations. And it would be dishonest of me not to acknowledge the situation we see in the world today. Some of you might be worried. There are huge challenges out there. What is happening in the economy? What is happening in Ukraine and the Middle East? The climate crisis? An overstretched NHS in the UK? The cost of living and inflation that we all face globally? But let me assure you of one thing. We have been here before, even in my lifetime. I remember similar turbulent times when I arrived at university. History does have a habit of repeating itself. But like then, the key thing is that we learn from it. But we only do that if we choose to. By being graduates who choose to continue learning, you'll put yourself well ahead of those that don't. Those that will re repeat the mistakes of the past. Because no matter how worrying the world might look, there are always opportunities out there. There are always ways to improve things. And I believe passionately that you will find your way to being part of that change, to make a difference. I'm on the board of a variety of companies, and I represent a number of business sectors. And at each of them, I've sought out graduates who studied at Edinburgh and Apia. And I can tell you, I've been hugely impressed by what they've said in the conversations we've had. I'm talking about graduates work at the Scottish Events Campus over in Glasgow, which puts on entertainment for the nation. I'm talking about graduates at Clyde Space, a space satellite manufacturer and space technology company. I'm talking about graduates here in Edinburgh at Craneware, a company that does medical software for the US hospital industry. And without fail, all these Edinburgh and APR alumni have spoken warmly and positively of their time at the university and the employment opportunities their degrees have given them over time. They tell me that when they go for job interviews, the degree carries weight. And when it comes to jobs, I think there's one really important thing, which sounds obvious, but I think you should do, and that's go out and get one. I've mentored a lot of young people, and I tell them, get out there and do something, because as long as you're doing something, you're learning, and through that learning, you'll get closer all the time to where you want to be. Many young people I see are now entering the workplace having done something else for three or four years than where their degree might normally lead them. Many have completed some sort of work experience during the courses they've done. Many will have worked part-time to support themselves. But no matter what you've done, at whatever level, in whatever sector, don't underestimate its importance. For you too will have learnt, and through that you will move through life and draw on those experiences. Just as life and technology that supports us becomes more complex and multifaceted, so must we, so must all of you. We must be more polymathic in the way we think, because that's the only way we're going to use our knowledge to solve problems, make progress, 
and maintain our edge as humans over artificial intelligence and the robots that many predict will inherit the Earth. That's what Edinburgh Napier has taught you to be able to do, to go out there and be able to make that difference. You will tread many paths in your careers, but please don't be afraid to make the first step, even if it's not immediately starting your dream job. I started out after university as a junior helicopter crew in the cold and dark North Sea on the oil rigs. I ended up working alongside Sir Richard Branson at Virgin, and now I have a multifaceted career, mostly in the space industry. But it would not be what it is for me if I hadn't kept on learning. I'm 63 years old now, and I wake up every morning ready to learn. Even this morning I woke up, I devoured the news. I wanted to learn more about the issues of the day. I wanted to think about how those issues would affect the companies and the institutions I'm involved in. The advantage of that kind of learning after university is that no one makes you sit down in a hall and do an exam about it. You can do it for pleasure. So as you leave the hall today with some well-deserved celebrations in mind, reflect on your success, all you've achieved, graduating, especially against the backdrop of these last few years, is a huge achievement. But tomorrow, wake up, be curious, learn something new about the world, Today is a stepping stone to future success. Walk forward with confidence and pride, and congratulations, this is your day. I now declare this graduation ceremony closed. Please be upstanding for the academic procession.